So it sounds like a lot of the map is it's really based off of information, external information, internal information, all areas of information. Have you come across people that their biggest source of unsafe information is their own thoughts, their own mind? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. But the, the way it's, it's a little bit tricky. So often the thoughts are actually emerging out of the physiology. Okay. Okay. So, so the physiology has shifted first or the physiology has been retuned to actually be grounded in some state of defense whether it's always mobilized and always busy or always what we call anxious, right, and unsettled. And then the thought arises out of that of like, oh, if I could just get this done, then I'll calm down. Or this is why. It's because of this, this. And then you start spinning these thoughts or, gosh, I just, I just can't get everything done or I'm just not good enough. How, am I ever going to be able to whatever the story is? comes out of the physiology and then creates a loop which reinforces the physiology. So, so everything's connected. So it's all connected. Yeah, there is no separation. It's one interconnected feedback loop. And so the map is that awareness piece and then the tools or the resources or the strategies are ways to interrupt that loop. And some of those strategies could be changing, not necessarily changing a thought, but looking at the thought as just information, as just a reflection of where my physiology might be. You following me? So like if I'm having spiraling, destructive, self-destructive stories, instead of focusing on changing the story, I'll realize I have that self-destructive story which tells me that my physiology, whether it started in my physiology or started in the story, I don't care, but I'm in a loop. It just tells me that I'm going to address my physiology. My physiology, for whatever reason or reasons, is spiraling in a defensive, mobilized threat physiology. And so I'm going to use what I can, whether it's just walking out in nature, whether it's listening to pleasant music, whether it's connecting with you, if I'm in a relationship and looking at what I can get to help my body, my physiology, my nervous system to settle down and temporarily just redefine the narrative as my body is just mobilized. The story isn't necessarily true, right? So anytime that the way I kind of coach it is when we notice self-destructive stories, when we noticed hurtful or stories of, I don't like him or her, or I don't like this, or I can never do this, any of those kinds of stories, those to me are just information that my physiology right now is under threat. And so how can I help myself find more safety and comfort and connection in my body? And then see what narrative arises.